Growth is so important. Growth in numbers, growth in awareness, growth in reach, growth as individuals is such a key to success. I feel that it's very overlooked and undervalued. People spend so much time not doing things and they're just thinking about the next moves, weighing what is wrong and what is right, that they take away from the ability to grow. Even the worst decisions allow me to grow. I feel like it applies to a lot of people though. When it comes to business, growth is the equivalent to the plot of a good story. I think many people only equate growth in their business to positives. How many stories build the climax with just positives? How many times have you read a book and everything that leads up to the climax of the story is just a positive? It doesn't happen. It's not, it's not how the real world works. It's not how books work. Fictional books. So why would it work in your everyday life that way? I personally think the negatives are the most memorable parts of growth though. I feel like the things that happen that didn't just go the way you wanted them to are so much more memorable. And when you look back at them and you allow it to be a catalyst for you to grow, it puts your mind somewhere that you normally don't want to go. I think that looking at negatives and seeing ways that you can change it into a positive in the future is something that we don't naturally always do. Do we naturally look at negatives? I do think that. But finding a way to make it a positive is something that I don't always see. People always don't grow the same way in the same situation. Two people can be put in the same situation and the growth they find out of it could be totally different. And that's that's really that's the beauty of it. Is that as you go through life and you're trying to find what you consider your success or what you consider, you know, your the end point to uh, your happiness. You could be traveling with that journey with six, seven people and all seven you could could experience the growth and success in a different light and all look at each time you grow differently. And that, that's that's the true beauty of all of it when you're actually going out there and just trying to do something different and create a different role for yourselves. Each of you are going to view it at a totally different perspective. The only way you really truly gain value, I feel like as a person, is when you do allow yourself to grow. It's really easy to, to just want to be the same and never go out and experience all the things around you because I understand how all the things around you can easily just feel a bit overwhelming but man it is so liberating to just go out there and feel and learn all the things around you and allow it to let you grow I think the biggest favor you can do yourself this week uh, is just grow a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Whatever you see fit, find a way that you can grow. Tomorrow is another opportunity for you to add to your success. And what you consider your success is totally up to you nobody else not your mom not your dad not your brother not your girlfriend not your boyfriend nobody can tell you what you consider your success so take today uh, take tomorrow take the next week take the next month just to add and grow to your success I love seeing people go out there and taking steps to make themselves just a little bit happier, uh, a little bit more successful. So use this week as a, as a tool to your success. That's the best part about it. It's that every day you have is another day to add to your success. It's, you don't got to go out and spend no fucking money. 
just going out there and experiencing everything around you is another way to add to your success and add to your growth. Keep growing as individuals. Don't stop. Peace. Enjoy your week. Stay motivated. Stay fucking focused. Now they're taking it.